Hello and welcome to another episode of the Hack Checker here on Through the Mixing Glass where we put cocktail hacks to the test. Today's hack, I honestly, I I'm honestly can't even believe that I'm saying this, but we are going to find out if the secret ingredient to a superior Negroni is sushi rice. Yeah, that's what the good folks over at Punch are telling us. They're telling us that if we want to have the best Negronis, we've, we've got to be using sushi rice. And frankly, I just don't know about that. I love Negronis. Negronis are probably, they're a top three cocktail for me. Supposedly, stirring your Negroni with sushi rice allows the starches in the rice to kind of like merge and blend and meld the flavors together to create a better Negroni. It allows them to kind of harmonize. We're gonna put that to the test. The people, uh, the people who follow and comment on punch posts on Instagram were also not having this. I'm just gonna read a few of the comments. Stop fixing things that aren't broken. The Negroni is a perfect drink. Do you really need to try to make it better with sushi rice? I agree with that person. This person said, why stop with the rice? Add the nori, soy sauce, and wasabi. You could basically just have a sushi Negroni. Just chuck all that extra crap in there. Uh, see how that goes. This person says, this offends my Italian ancestors. Couldn't you have at least used orzo? Hashtag, leave Negronis alone. I'm not Italian, but I, I do agree that the Negronis probably should be left alone because I'm very skeptical of this hack. Someone called this the rice agroni, which I might steal that. I, I might steal that for the, uh, for the title of this video. We'll see, we'll see how this goes. First things first here, I'm gonna make uh, a standard Negroni, then we will make the rice washed Negroni and see if it actually improves it like they say it will. So that's our standard Negroni. Because we're adding grains, rice grains, to our drink, I can't just make it in the glass like I normally would. So that's already a knock against this. I have to get out a mixing glass because we're going to have to strain it into the glass that we're gonna drink it from. Now the instructions are minimal in the punch drink article. It does not say whether you should wash the rice before using it. So I messaged the bartender, Leanne Favre, who was involved in kind of coming up with this technique. She says that you wanna give the rice a quick rinse. So I just gave this a quick rinse. It's been sitting here in this little bowl. Hopefully that's okay. So I'm just gonna stir that in. Okay, that is our sushi rice Negroni on the right, our standard Negroni on the left. I don't know if this is picking up on the camera, but you can tell with the rice wash one, it's cloudier. This one is clearer. This one's got a haze to it. For the sake of comparison, let's go ahead and give our standard Negroni a try. Obviously, this is gonna taste like a Negroni. Mmm. Yeah, <laughs> I love Negronis. Bright, citrusy, refreshing, just a damn good Negroni. No complaints there. The rice Negroni. I can't put it off any longer. Let's try that. Cheers. Hmm. Oh. Okay. It's different. It is a little different. I gotta go back for another sip here. It's tough to describe. It is different though. Both are good. This is the Negroni you know and love. This is a Negroni where there are less layers to the flavor. It's, it's a little bit more one note. There is that bitter back end still. The bitterness still does linger on your palate a little bit. But for me, this is a smoothing and a flattening of the flavors it almost kind of mutes it a little bit. The standard Negroni 
is punchy, it's bright. You get the botanical notes, the citrusy notes from the gin, followed by that bitter orange flavor from the Campari. It's got different flavors. This one, this one is just much more one note to me. Think about it like an equalizer on a stereo. You know, you can raise the bass, you can raise the mids, you can raise the treble, um, and you can kind of fine tune it to the way you like it, depending on the music you're listening to. That's what's going on here with the classic Negroni. Certain notes, certain flavors are raised and tweaked uh, to be above the others. This one, it's almost as if the equalizer is flat. Like it's a straight line and there's no kind of like punchy elements to it. And in my experience, both from a cocktail perspective and from a music listening perspective, I don't want a flat EQ. With this one, it's just straight, it's flat, and you're missing a lot of kind of what makes a Negroni special to me. It's still good. It is still good. It is still very much a Negroni. It doesn't change the character of the drink so much that you don't know what you're drinking. But to me, the classic Negroni is still the better of the two. The rice washed one could actually, I could see it serving a purpose as perhaps a gateway to a Negroni. If you knew someone who did not like Negronis and did not like that bitter element, it was just too much for them, the rice washed version could actually be a way to get them into Negronis. My wife, for example, hates Negronis. They're too bitter for her. She can't stand them. This kind of mutes some of the bitterness in a classic Negroni and could perhaps make it something that she would be more interested in. Maybe you know someone like that who wants to like a Negroni, but doesn't. Maybe try the rice wash one with them and see if it's something that they might like a little bit better. My verdict on this is it's it has a place. It serves a purpose. There is a reason for this um, hack to exist. For me, the OG Negroni, that's gonna be the one I keep making. Let me know what you think. Let me know if you'd ever try putting sushi rice in your Negroni. Thank you so much again for watching this latest episode of the Hack Checker here on Through the Mixing Glass. Let me know in the comments what you think. And uh, if you aren't already, please subscribe. I would really appreciate that. And I'll catch you on the next episode. Thank you so much. Cheers.